And welcome, everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nocturne Renekton. That's right, that's going to be our next deck today. Uh, this is going to be a viewer-submitted donation deck that looks pretty cool. One thing that I really like about this is that it's just all two ofs. Uh, we have our three champions with three Renekton, three Nocturne, and everything else in our deck is going to be uh, exactly two. I don't know why, that just kind of... I kind of like that, that it's, you know, that... Um, synergistic i don't know if that's really the word um but the uh but second history the person that made the deck said that they do that with the all two just from uh from playing zoe decks before like where you want all the cards different spells and just kind of got in the habit of that but i like it it's going to be interesting to try out so we have a, a good combination of different things we're going to have a good amount of nightfall stuff for nocturne because we want to be able to attack with five nightfall allies to be able to level up our nocturne and one easy way to do that is with Evershade Stalker, because if we can put in like multiple Evershade Stalkers and attack with them, and that should level up our Nocturne very quickly. We're going to have Vulnerable stuff to go along with Renekton, Ruthless Predator, um, Exhaust. We're going to have those. Uh, let's see. We have um, Curse Keeper and, and even then like Evershade Stalker, things that are pretty easy to sacrifice. We have Ride of Calling to be able to destroy those, to be able to go find our champions if we are struggling finding them. Um, but that because that's really going to be the power of our deck is our two champions and we want to play them in the mid game maybe we use a siphoning strike to grow them which would be pretty awesome but they'll probably die because you know things things die in life and that's okay but then we're going to have the rekindler which is going to bring them back so then uh that'll be nice and then finally at the top end once we have maybe have had like a few nocturnes or renektons uh you know whenever they've gone away we got our board clear Boom, Harrowing. Harrowing seems pretty awesome with Nocturne, right? If you bring back two or three Nocturnes, you know, maybe because of Rekindler, um, that can be pretty awesome, right? Having multiple of these Nocturnes in play, um, that could be pretty awesome. And then, of course, Renekton, again, another very good card to have multiples of as well. So, yeah, so that should be pretty sweet. So it looks like a, just a really interesting deck that's a little different. That We got like some different card choices and everything than normal. And so I think this could be really cool just putting these together. So let's give let's give a try to Nocturne Renekton. We're gonna go play our five games in ranked. Yeah, artistic's a better word than synergistic or playing all twos, not th any threes. All right, Draven Ezreal. They're gonna be using lots of removal, but they're also a pretty aggressive deck. Gonna get rid of you. Oh, like that Rashid Stalker is a good attacker. Glimpse Beyond is nice, like, whenever they use a removal spell on our, our thing, then we Glimpse Beyond, so we get card advantage, plus they don't get the level up for Ezreal. We do need to find things to play. Witness perfection, meat bags. Hmm. Evolve or die. Alright, Ballistic Bot's pretty good. Just pass. Alright, have this turn on Nightfall. Tough choice. I think this is a good Doom Beast matchup, but Curse Keeper also gonna be pretty good. I'm gonna go with the Curse Keeper. Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. Oh, we weren't expecting callers. Right of calling. I was like a main reason why I wanted to uh, take the curse keeper just to turn on this right of calling. Good champion and get a four three. Four three attacks for a good amount. Does the deck work? I don't know. This is our very first game. You just, uh, we are zero and zero right now. So I either play the four one and attack for four, or sacrifice draw two. Neither option is bad. I think I'm gonna go with the four one attack for four. This also gives me a, a blocker for the Ballistic Bond. Because 
because then I can have Unspeakable Horror finish Ballistic Bot off. Yeah, Draven Ezreal is what my opponent's playing. You cannot hide forever, Nasus. There's Nasus isn't even here, which I guess that means the Nasus is probably hiding. So good call, Renekton. You cannot hide forever, Nasus. Yeah, next we're not the best at turning on Nightfall. If our like champions die, like as long as we don't die, if we can, you know, just have like everything kind of trade and get to the late game and just be able to drop harrowing with like a bunch of stuff, like that's gonna be awesome, right? So that's kinda the goal. Keeps the vulnerable. Which is good for the Renekton. Glorious battle. But again, we don't we don't want to die. Which isn't anything abnormal in a card game or life. And I don't mind, because we're going to play Rekindler, get it back. Oh, I guess Rekindler is going to bring back Nocturne, isn't it? Mm, I was thinking Rekindler is going to bring that back, but right, it's going to bring back Nocturne. That's all right. They're playing Draven. I mean, I would do that block with Renekton again. I think that just keeping our life total high is the most important thing. Like, we have, like, these hair... Like, we're going to be good in the late game. We just have to make sure we don't die. Impossible. I could be attacking the other way, which is safer against Get Excited. They've already played one Get Excited. More Ezreals. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. You cannot escape. Down to twelve. Oh, can't stop me. Yeah, the mimic interaction change with Tribe and Probulator was a was pretty sad for LeBlanc version. I liked that attack. That that was sad. Okay, discard flock. So definitely glad no Captain Farron. The party has arrived. So I don't really want to play the Doom Beast because even though like because of because harrowing. Like, I don't want it to take up the room, right? Because, all right, so right now we're going to have Nocturne, Nocturne, um, Rekindler, Nocturne, and then Renekton. So I need I need those five spots. I could just throw away this Unspeakable Horror just to, just to use mana. Hmm. Oh, we had three Nocturnes die. Never mind. So it was Nocturne, Nocturne, Nocturne. <laughs> and then Rekindler, Nocturne. 
Alright, so we're going to make their things very fearsome. And, uh... I get to go the exhaust to keep maybe keep this from blocking, depending on what they do with the spinning axe. All right, I guess that happens. So we go block, block. Take fourteen. Alright, so to, to threaten lethal, we gotta play the exhaust to, to not make it where they can just block with two things. And then I have the, in case this doesn't work, I have the Ruthless Predator to try to do two extra damage somewhere. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Alright, so that's taking 20. Taking 20. Alright, Harrowing Nocturne. That was pretty cool. And that's why I didn't mind, like, just stuff trade and... That's all we need to do, just let keep let stuff trade, rekindler, get more nocturnes in play, and then boom, harrowing. Oh, yes. GG's. We're back to oh, another Ezreal deck. Now we're going Frel Yord and Pup Caps. Those are gone. I think I want to keep the unspeakable horror for Teemo, but. Maybe you need to keep the Fading Memories to turn on Nightfall for Unspeakable Horror. Would it be able to do that on turn two? It'd have to be on a, a different turn that it would be able to turn that on. Two, three, four. Do you have Teemo? I'll scout ahead. Yay. Kind of surprised no Freljord spell to protect it. Humanity is obsolete. This is the upgrade. <laughs> Safety disengaged. So we defeated Ballistic Bot once. Can we do it again? Another day in the field. Can you improve perfection? Won't be easy. Time for a true display of skill. I never use my goggles either. Will not be easy. Just the best way to do that. We don't get the nightfall enabled, but just the best way to do that. Starless here. So many cards I need to kill. Unfortunately, that minus one minus zero is only this round. It's not like um, this sand spinner where like this would have the minus one minus zero forever. This would be really good. But I'm glad no get excited right there to kill the nocturne. These old eyes still see far. This is still a really nice combo, the bot Starlet's here. But we've killed three champions already. Already killed three champions. Flesh 
wish was weak, but look at me now. Prime and ready. Ah, an auspicious season. Can you improve perfection? I think probably trying to kill the ballistic bots the most important thing. I don't mind my Nocturne dying because of Rekindler. This challenge just makes it better for my Doom Beast attacking. Where if I if I challenge the bot and kill the bot, which I would I'd kinda rather kill the bot, but if I try to challenge and kill the bot, then um then that's pretty bad for Oh, this isn't good either. I guess I'm just dead now. I say that's pretty bad for my 3 2, but. Yeah, I guess I'm just dead. 10, 12, 14, 16, yep. That was pretty. Those are pretty bad three cards to have for the five mana, the Elixir of Iron. We lost. <laughs> no, we didn't have spell mana. We I had one spell mana. That was it. I like this hand. I like the exhaust Renekton. Don't love that. Flight's always so good. So I could kill the flight, but then I won't have exhaust for Renekton. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. Killing the flight. Yeah, that's definitely something to kill. Because this just helps out, you know, it helps not only give them the card draw, but this just really helps Nightfall decks because it just gives them like the cheap card to be able to play basically every single turn. Um, that's the really good Nightfall enabler. Plus, it also, um, it's also like something I can't block, so it's also killing me turn after turn. There are just a lot of reasons to do that. You cannot hide forever, Nasus. Close to the level up. Fortunately, like, you know, Evershade Stalker doesn't block. If I Fading Memories this and put it into play last turn, it doesn't block. I could do I can't stop this open attack. Sleep there. 
Okay. So, yeah, yeah, they just, they had the cheap cards, they were aggressive, put a lot of pressure on me, and my hand was a little too awkward. That game kind of shows the problem with, with playing Evershade Stalker. Alright, so I love Siphoning Strike, not good against Freljord with Frostbite, but I love the card. Chronomancer is a good draw. That's a card we haven't seen yet. That's a good draw. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. That's definitely a, a good card for us to have. Just it just fills the curve, right? Like that's that's kind of all you want from that spot. That's really nice. Definitely love ruthless predator plus curse keeper. That's a nice combo. So I want to take that predator there. Nothing escapes my. I hate Avarice and Sentry though. Kind of feel like waiting on the onlooker. I know I could do the four damage there, but I think I'm gonna wait and keep this two spell mana. Anyone hurt? <laughs> Legion Marauders. For the homestead. Plenty for all of us. Don't touch it. Why would that attack now after not blocking? Two troll chance out of their hand. Violence, chaos, and destruction. If they're out there, I'll spot them. I am the face your end. Can we at least have something happen? Man, Freljord's so brutal. I'll cut your mind. Safeguard our so brutal. Every troll chant in the world. Alright, so I'm I didn't lead with this so that I could have Do I want Renekton on top? Probably. Yeah, probably. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Okay. Got to be kidding me. <laughs> it's impossible to kill anything against Freljord. It's literally impossible to kill anything. Listen to me. Alright, game number five against some spiders. 
That was definitely our best hand that we've had so far. Two, that was frustrating. The, the three troll chance and the elixir of iron and the flash freeze just couldn't end up killing anything. I don't know about these spirit leeches. So in keeping both Renektons, I think we're probably going to be using the second Renekton for just the champion spell because we're going to be behind. No one's the wiser. Everything's in place. We do have the attack token on turn four, so that's important. I'm not going to be able to turn on Nightfall for Unspeakable Horror, but that's okay. We don't need to turn it on. on you to keep us safe. So my plan next turn is just Unspeakable Horror, nothing else, and then next, and then the turn after, turn four, then we'll go Renekton, Champion Spell, Come close, and then turn five, like Stalking Shadows, Doom Beast. Bite. This will shake up. Behind ya. Listen to me. Go get him, Renekton. I turn it like so. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just get that trade because if I if I don't do this trade, like let's say I just kill that thing, like I can't I can't block the three two anyway. But then if they they could play like another Elise here and then they level up Elise, so like that trade's good for me that way. But they could also play like Frenzied Skitter and then my thing's only a one two, so then it doesn't trade with a two two. There also. So I think just tra taking that trade while I could is good. Just 12. I'll wait on Siphoning Strike. Like Siphoning Strike and then they Fervor. Right there, it's kind of messy. Alright, so my plan is play Ephemeral, sacrifice Ephemeral. So never mind, plan plan changed. Cut them down. No surrender. It's just the best possible right of negation target, right? It does the most damage. And so look they could certainly be looking at fervor in their hand right now. Um if they fervor it takes you know cool. So they would kill like their 1-1 one, one and their 3-2 and get rid of their fervor, all that to get rid of my Renekton, and my exhaust, so it'd be a kind of a 3 for 2. I guess that 1-1 one, one was free. Interesting. I pull the strings. Good for you. There's the fervor. Bleed. So down to four. 
Is it better to have everything die for heroin? And just bring it back as like a larger thing, but I guess, no, I guess not. So I'm going to be casting Harrowing next turn. Do I kill my own Renekton? I think so. Because I'm not going to win. If this doesn't kill them, I don't win anyway. So just basically take a champion out of the deck where I'm not drawing the champion because my champions right now don't really help me. Oh, that's not very much. That's not as much as I was hoping for. So the Re Renekton turns into an 8-8 when it attacks, but they just they block 3-2, block 2-3. That's 12. That would go to 1. I, of course, can copy Doom Beast. It may be better just to copy Doom Beast right now. I guess I could just do that. I could just copy Doom Beast and then play Nocturne and try to have Harrowing the next turn. But then, man, I don't have a good... I don't have a good block from an open attack. Yeah, if, I mean, I, so I could have had Renekton in play or this Nocturne in hand, which the Nocturne's maybe gonna be more valuable than the Renekton anyway, to be honest. Like this Nocturne's actually probably more valuable than just that, that Renekton and what it was. Because all have, all of my Ephemeral killed this thing. That's bad news. Stalking Shadow is so good in their deck with Doom Beast and Imperial Demolitionist. For duty. Yeah, it was Demolitionist. That's good. You for the many. All right, we're going to need to draw. Alright, not bad. If they don't break, they'll burn. Go down to one. So I'm not going to ride negation that because that doesn't kill me. I'll ride negation something else that does kill me. I think I'll skip. Yeah. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. But I guess they just play something else like that that attacks and kills me, don't they? Hmm. Yeah, guess maybe I should have used it. Force them to have another Nexus spell or two attackers. So they have two cards in hand. Yeah, like all they have to do is to play another attacker. The only cards in their deck are attackers and Nexus damage, right? So I guess, like, I think no matter what I do, I probably can't win. How do they not have either two attackers or one other Nexus damage spell? So I guess I guess either way, whatever I do, I don't think I win. To our deck, it's definitely what we needed was just more... We needed more units in play. That was what our deck was really missing. We just just didn't have enough units. Probably had, had too many spells. Not enough units. Um, and units that can, like, block also affect combat. I think that... Uh, Cards that really underperformed, Evershade Stalker, really underperformed, wasn't really a card I was that interested in, Ride of Calling, really underperformed, Fading Memories, not too big on it, we just didn't, we didn't have stuff for Spirit Leech too much, I think there's something here, but I think we just need more things that can, that can stay in play, I think I would want extra, extra Curse Keeper, but also more ways to kill Curse Keeper. So, Curse Keeper and Caretaker. Blighted Caretaker is just an all-star in these kind of decks. So I think that having Curse Keeper or Blighted Caretaker, having that combo in there uh, could be really good. 
Oh, yeah. What am I doing adding three ofs? <laughs> we get a couple Warden's Prey. Warden's Prey is a great blocker that also gives us, you know, another follower in hand. So there we go. Get a couple Warden's Prey's, get a couple Curse... Get a couple caretakers. But yeah, I think I think that it just kind of needs some more focus on like the early Shadow Isle stuff. Um, like those kind of cards. Um, but I, I liked Nocturne and Renekton for sure. And on a, and so like basically like if we want to play Spirit Leech, we gotta have more things to sacrifice. Otherwise, besides that, instead of Spirit Leech, could just go Sand Spinner. You know, Sand Spinner is is awesome. And we so we could go Sand Spinner instead of Spirit Leech. And it's, again, another way to basically kind of pair with Nocturne of, like, more ways to give things vulnerable. That minus one minus zero is nice. And, you know, just giving things vulnerable for Renekton. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of ways to take this kind of deck. Shurima and Shadow Isles is not short on playables, right? Like, there's lots and lots of things to do in this kind of deck. Um, so I think it's it's kind of like, you know, what do you want to do? What what do you like? What kind of cards do you like to play kind of thing? Because there's, there's no shortage of good cards to play in this kind of deck but i liked the two champions together i like i like nocturne i like renekton um i was impressed with rekindler with both of those and harrowing to finish out games so i was i was definitely impressed with with that kind of stuff i think that the like the early game could use some work um, of just getting more bodies in play we have like a decent amount of card advantage with glimpse beyond stalking shadows and spirit leech if we want to play spirit leech um, we weren't really the best Stalking Shadows deck. We basically had, like, one target each time. And so that's something we could improve upon also with uh, thinking of our early game. But that's why I liked having, like, Chronomancer. But, yeah, so, like, those are those are some different options. Yeah, so maybe going, like, Caretaker, Sand Spinner. Because, like, Caretaker and Sand Spinner, like, these are our followers that our Stalking Shadows can find. But then they're also Interaction and they also play to the board. I think that's kind of like what our deck was missing is, you know, playing to the board, getting blockers, getting more interaction. We had some, but not quite enough. And so I don't... Fading Memories, well, I just don't... I don't like Fading Memories very much. While it does make... It does help turn on Nightfall, the ephemeral unit that it makes is really, really not very valuable, right? It's like half of a Stalking Shadows, It's and it's the bad half of Stalking Shadows. Because unless that ephemeral follower is like a curse keeper, um, you know, like getting, yeah. So unless it's like that, it's it's difficult for that fading memories to to trade with with stuff. You like you know you want the card to be able to trade with other things. So yeah, lots of lots of things to to think about. Yeah, it was a cool it was a cool combination, cool little deck to play here. That's what we do on stream, right? Like you know we want to play new combinations, new decks. And just kind of learn some stuff, right? Like I kind of found, you know, found out how good, uh, like Nocturne and uh, Renekton both looked great with Rekindler and Harrowing for the late game, especially with Harrowing. So that was that was pretty cool. That was pretty interesting finding that out. I liked Ruthless Predator plus Curse Keeper. I think that's a really cool combination. Being able to give this, you know, turn Curse Keeper into a three-one challenger, basically, and then you know, then your Curse Keeper dies, and then you get the four-three. That was a really cool combination. So cool deck. All right, so anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always love seeing those. Um, let me know what you think of the deck and if you got other uh, ways to you know make it better or any other suggestions like that, feel free to put them down there in the comment section. All right, but that's all I got here for Nocturne Renekton. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.